Hi guys, so today I'd like to take you on a little journey. It's called uh, Let's Feed the Rats and Change Their Bedding. So as you know, you have a lot of snakes. They all have to eat. Unfortunately, it's a natural food chain. The snakes have to eat, so the rats have to go. First things first, I've got this hat that I've been using and I have no idea where I got it from, but you do need to cover your hair because every time when I walk into the room, the smell of the rats is not great and it stays in your hair very long time. We're in the rat room. It smells pretty bad in here. But let me just show you what we have here. Ta-da! They're all rats. And then we have separate containers for rats as well. Overall, we have five separate containers and we have seven stand-up containers. I also have this humidifier here because in Las Vegas, it's very dry. And I do like my animals to be comfortable where they live. But the process is pretty simple. What I do, I just take the container with the rats. I take the rats out and put it in a separate container. Then I take the bedding out, put it in the trash, put new bedding in and put the rats back in. And whilst I'm doing this, I'll take out the rats that we can feed to the snakes. So that way, everybody's happy. The bedding that I use is Aspen bedding and it's from it's, uh, it doesn't have a make, <laughs> but it's from Jones Pet Supplies. It's actually super cheap because I went to the pet store and it was a bag, maybe like a quarter of the size, and it was $25. This whole thing is $30. So definitely a big save. If you do have Jones, that's the place to go because they are super cheap, including hay, rat food, pet food, everything. Also for the rat food, I use Missouri for exotic animals. It looks like this, it's very heavy, and it's only $30 as well. So it's definitely a big save because if you buy it online, the price might be low, but the delivery price is very high. Let's just wrap it up, get them all fed, change their waters, change their bedding, get snakes ready to eat. So I would like to make sure that the rats have fresh water every day. So what I do, if there's any water that's left, I just use it to put into the heat humidifier because I don't want to waste the water either. That way I can use the water for the humidifier and then the rats can get the fresh water. Okay, so the next step, we got two containers. This is the small one for keeping the rats when I'm changing their bedding. And these are the rats that are gonna go to the snakes. And I put the aspen bedding, because basically when the rats are there for too long, what they do, they just poop and pee, and it just smells really, really bad. It's very strong, so I, pre I prefer to put bedding into it so they don't pee on each other. And let's just proceed with the first container. We do have quite a few babies in here, so they're always worried, obviously. Let me just show you, see we have loads of rats in here and we have some babies. So obviously rats don't like to be taken out from their home and be moved somewhere else. So I'm trying to make sure that they're as happy as they can be because you don't want them to stress too long or too much or worry that the babies are not with them. So I have, come on. I have this extra lid that I made just in case if they try to jump out because obviously they will try to run away. <laughs> There's a lot of fresh babies in this one and I haven't changed their bedding in about two weeks now. So it's actually pretty bad, but it doesn't smell as bad as usual because the heat, uh, 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 where are you going? Because the heat isn't as bad anymore. So it doesn't get too crazy. It still smells, it smells pretty bad. And before anybody says anything, yes, I love animals and I guess I love rats. But unfortunately, snakes have to eat. That is very, very unfortunate. Okay, so a few points about the next crate. Um, whilst I was cleaning it, I realized one of the rat's waters has broken, which means because she was pregnant and she started to give birth whilst I was changing their bedding. And then she gave birth to one little rat. One of the other rats decided to start eating the baby. I forgot to tell you guys, that's pretty normal. Rats eat their babies. Um, I'm trying not to disturb the babies, babies when they're just born, but um, yeah, it's not great. But so far, I found four youngsters to be a snake's meal. Let me just show you how cute these are. See? You little cuties. Nobody wants to be a dinner, isn't it? You guys are little cuties. Do what I did, taking this out and putting it in a bin, and then now I'm going to put some fresh aspen bedding. 
I probably bought way too much, but I do like the rats to be comfortable. Yeah, they're ready to go. And putting them back, it's obviously way easier than <laughs> taking them out. They're trying to sniff me and touch me in all sorts. When I wear anything, anybody say the rats are super nice. And they're very smart too. This tub is heavy, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of rats in there, which means a lot of snake food. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of rats in this one. Pregnant, oh, are you trying to run away? Okay, this one is trying to run away. We'll have to take him and bring him in the other time. Didn't mean to hurt. Oh, this one is pregnant too. They look extra cute when they're pregnant. Surprisingly so far, I've been doing it for quite a few months now. Not one of them bit me. I wouldn't put it past them. How many percent of the, of the rats do you think hate me with a passion and they think I'm the worst thing that have ever, ever happened to their lives? Quite a large percentage, you know what I mean? Come on guys, okay, back into your room. Your baby is going back to. This one is done. And I'm gonna get the fresh water. Cause there's still some fresh water in here. But I just need a fresh, fresh, fresh water. Just look at me, I look like trash. That's why I put the hair, the hat on the hair, just to make sure that I cover it. But anyway, on this one, we're gonna start from the top to the bottom because in my bottom rats ate the hole, I'll show you. A hole through, and I need to fix it, but I can't do it right now. I mean, I probably can, to be fair, and I probably should. Maybe I'll do it now. Okay, so this one is actually super full. I almost lost a lot of them, so I need to, and the thing is, it's not as, as deep as the other one, so I need to just be careful, because you don't want the rest to run away. Don't you, rats? Don't run away from me. Do not run away from me, you beautiful, beautiful rat sticks. Okay. Oh, let it go, let it go. See, the biggest problem is separating rats into two different categories. It's like, it's almost sad, because how do you choose, you know? Also, I do want to keep one male, even though there's no balls. It looks like the balls will eat it. Now, this will go into the bin. So, I just finished the crates, all of them. I put fresh water in, haven't added the food. Um, so, now I'm going to put add the extra food to all of them. And then I'm going to sweep, and we are ready to go. Okay, guys, so I'm finished. All the rest are clean. As you can see, all the food was topped up and all the wrap room is done. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you watch to the end, you are a freaking hero. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share this channel if you want to. I would appreciate it. So thank you very much. And until next time, bye. Oh, and by the way, I fixed the hole. See, 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 it's fixed. Thank you. Bye.